I'm Kate Fowey Gassaway, and I am a PhD student in Aeronautical and Astronautical Engineering at Purdue. I started undergrad in 2012 and graduated in 2016. I graduated with my master's in 2018 and am on track to graduate in 2022 with my PhD. My research area is in micropropulsion for small satellites, which is an attitude control system that we're working on for CubeSats. CubeSats are really small satellites. They are about the size of a shoebox or smaller. Uh, they are used for doing remote sensing mostly and small scale satellite projects for science. Uh, they have the benefit of being very quick to produce and also very small, so cheap to launch. You can launch a lot of them at once and they're very good for student projects. So my interest in aerospace started uh, with my dad actually. Uh, when I was really little, he uh, started me off with little models of lunar landers and lunar modules and had me knowing all the different types of uh, launches and the Mercury astronauts, the Gemini project. So this has been something I've been interested in for as long as I can remember. Uh, and having two engineers as my parents definitely got me interested in doing engineering in general, as well as problem solving and using science and technology to solve problems. So it started it off very early and I've always been intrigued by space and trying to answer big questions with science. In my junior year and in my senior year of my undergrad, I did two summer internships with Northrop Grumman uh, out in California. And in the second one, I was able to work on the James Webb Space Telescope. Uh, I got to do some structural testing on the uh, one of the two Sunbeam uh, shields uh, that hold up the whole shield that uh, blocks out the sun to keep everything really cold. At the time, it was definitely the coolest thing I had gotten to do. Uh, it was the first time I'd gotten to work on a real space mission. It taught me that what I really do love about doing aerospace engineering is engineering and building the equipment for the missions that are going to be doing the science. I love the idea of exploring the universe, of answering the big questions, but I found that the part that I want to contribute with is building the equipment, building the actual satellites or the probes or the giant telescopes that are going to be sending us and our knowledge further out there to answer those big questions. I was lucky that I was able to know a lot about uh, aerospace and missions and space uh, history before I came here, but when I did get here I still realized that there are people who knew even more than I did. I felt like I was behind for not being able to name off every type of fighter jet or being able to know uh, all of the different numbers for an Airbus commercial plane and a, uh, versus a Boeing commercial plane. But I did know what I was interested in and I was able to learn the rest. And so it was a little daunting coming in and having all of the guys that were in my program seem to know a lot more trivia than I did about the topics. Um, but I was able to learn all of that just as fast and it definitely didn't hold me back. I never thought of aerospace engineering as being the hardest topic. I know to some people it looks hard, but rocket science is easy if you're interested in it and if it's the thing that you're passionate about. So just stick with it, find the thing you like.